Large theropods like the Tyrannosaurus rex, Spinosaurus aegypticus, or Carnotaurus sastri are, for many of us, the epitome of terrifying and dangerous predators, not least because of the Jurassic Park films. In today's video, we'll introduce you to several prehistoric animals that you would never want to be left alone with. These animals are terrifying, vicious, and some are downright monsters. But before we dive into it, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Also, stick around for number one if you want to learn about one of the most fearsome creatures we guarantee you've never heard of. Yakalopterus the Yakalopterus, although they lived underwater, by today's standards they would be considered a type of scorpion. Today, scorpions are dangerous, but relatively small. This doesn't make much of a difference, though, as the smaller scorpions are often considered to be the most dangerous. However, the Yakalopterus, which is native to the Lower Devonian in what is now Germany, was 2.6 meters long, making it the largest arthropod of all time. Although its jaw claws were relatively small in relation to the physique of its current relatives, they still measured around 36 centimeters. The body of the Yakalopterus was streamlined to the rear, and its extremities were very small except for the rearmost pair of legs and its pincers, which would have allowed for a quick advance on its prey from a lurking position. These animals were not to be messed with and would have been very dangerous. Arthropleura Just a little smaller than the giant scorpion Yakalopterus was a relative of the millipedes Arthropleura, which measured around two and a half meters. The Arthropleura consisted of 32 body segments, each with a pair of legs, so it had far fewer legs than its relatives living today, and thus looks fairly similar to a gigantic wood lice. Aside from this, we know very little about the gigantic arthropod, since the fossils found so far have only shown us the outermost part of the animal. Because of this, we only know about the top portion of the animal and can only speculate about its eating habits. The maximum size of the arthropleura could also far exceed any other similar creature that roams the earth these days. Dunkleosteus torelli the Dunkleosteus torelli was 10 meters long and was the largest representative of the Placodermy, an armored fish. The most prominent feature of the Dunkleosteus torelli was its massive bony skull, with four bone plates instead of teeth in its mouth. Dunkleosteus torelli lived in the Upper Devonian around 370 million years ago. Even though the biting force was less than that of sharks, the Dunkleosteus torelli was a dangerous hunter because it could open and close its mouth very quickly, creating a suction that washed its prey directly into its mouth. Megalania the Komodo dragon is often referred to as the most dangerous land predator on our planet, as it's able to kill animals that are two to three times as large as it is. Now imagine this agility, but in the body of a predator that's several times larger, we introduce you to Megalania. The Komodo dragon is about one and a half meters long, though Megalania measured seven meters long. If the hunting behavior was similar to that of the Komodo dragon, this Australian monitor species would be the largest poisonous animal that has ever lived on Earth. On the one hand, it's a shame that it died out 45,000 years ago. On the other hand, would we really have wanted to meet this incredibly large beast? Probably not. Terror Birds the forest rosidae are a family of birds with 15 described genera, which in turn split into well over 20 species. The flightless predators, which are more than 2 meters tall, are commonly known as 
terror birds. Essentially, you have to imagine a particularly large ostrich whose neck and head are very large and thick. After all, they have to carry the gigantic beak of the terror bird. In South America, the terror birds in the Paleogene and Neogene were at the top of the food chain, but didn't become extinct until the Quaternary about 18,000 years ago. Cacaridon Megalodon Sharks are so well adapted to hunting in the sea that they've essentially not evolved at all in the last 350 million years. The great white shark is considered to be the most dangerous predator of our time, as it's the largest of the hunting sharks and has sensory organs with which it can identify prey across many kilometers based on the electrical vibrations they emit or even just a drop of blood. Great white sharks are only about 5 to 6 million meters long. The larger version of the great white shark, which is similar in its appearance, is the Cacaridon megalodon, or as it's more commonly known, a megalodon. With a length of over 20 meters, it was probably the largest shark that ever lived. In general, the only known fish that assumed similar dimensions was the Leedzichthyes, which, like the whale shark or the basking shark, was not an active hunter, but instead filtered its food out of the water while while swimming. That would make the megalodon the largest predatory fish of all time, with a mouth so big that it could easily gobble you up in one piece. Danosuchus rio grandensis If the scientific name of an animal can be translated as terrible crocodile god, one can imagine that we're moving into dimensions far beyond the largest crocodile living today. With a length of around 5 meters, Danosuchus was more than twice as long, about the same size as a T-Rex. However, we all know how big a crocodile's mouth is compared to the body. We're talking almost 2 meters of the jawline with a bite force that could decimate any living creature in less than a second. The only known animal with a higher bite force was the aforementioned megalodon. Though, despite having such an unimaginable bite force, these creatures wouldn't have often used their mouths to kill their prey. Instead, they would have latched onto their next meal and dragged it underwater until it stopped flailing around. Talk about a savage animal. These creatures would have been some of the most fearsome animals to have ever roamed the earth. Titanoboa. Now, we've already discussed oversized scorpions, centipedes, sharks, monitor lizards, birds, and crocodiles. Isn't there something missing? Yes, snakes. The largest snake living today is the great anaconda, with an estimated maximum length of 10 meters. But why is it that this is only an estimated length, and we don't know for sure? That's because a living specimen of this size has never been sighted, but skin without a head and tail were found and measured 8.9 meters in length. But there was also a bigger snake that lived many years ago, the titanoboa, which measured 13 meters and weighed 1.135 tons. Now, when you consider that an anaconda can devour a full-grown taper, you can hardly imagine what a titanoboa can get between its dislocated jaws. The titanoboa lived in Colombia about 60 million years ago. By then, dinosaurs were already extinct, though scientists have estimated that one of these snakes could have devoured an adult stegosaurus in one single bite. Argentavis Magnificens The Argentavis Magnificens was about one and a half meters high when standing, so for a normal-sized person, it would reach near your shoulders. However, its wingspan was over seven meters, which suggests that it was primarily a glider pilot. Due to its enormous size, Argentavis Magnificens lost its agility compared to other birds of prey, which makes it unlikely that it actively hunted small mammals. The size and shape of the beak also suggests that Argentavis Magnificens was a scavenger. These birds would have posed little threat to humans had humans been alive around this time. However, they would have been fearsome creatures simply due to their incredible size. Mosasaurus Hoffmanii 
Because of their name, many consider mosasaurs to be dinosaurs that swim, but they actually belong to the family crawfish and are therefore much more closely related to snakes and lizards. With a length of up to 17 meters, the mosasaurus hoffmani was probably the largest of these swimming reptiles, and therefore actually larger than the largest known theropod, Spinosaurus aegypticus. They would have been around 16 meters long and presumably hunted many mainly in the water. However, the Mosasaurus did not reach the dimensions suggested by Jurassic World. Here he devours a full-grown great white shark without any problems. The jaw of the largest Mosasaurus would have had a length of 1.6 meters. Nevertheless, they would have been a super predator in the seas at the time that they roamed the earth. Leo Pleurodon Ferox with a length of 7 to 10 meters, the Leopleurodon ferox may appear relatively small compared to the Mosasaurus. Nevertheless, the Leopleurodon was a frightening animal, even though the proportions of its skull and body didn't line up with other animals. This would have been a bizarre-looking creature, that's for sure, but that didn't stop the Leopleurodon from wreaking all sorts of havoc during its days on Earth. With its four large fins, the Leopleurodon could move very very quickly through the water. This made it the dominant hunter in the Jurassic Seas for 10 million years. Megatherium Americanum the Megatherium americanum was one of the largest family members of the giant sloth. We're really not talking about the dreamy-looking, cute little animals that doze off hanging from the tree for half the day. No, we're talking about six-ton animals that no branch in the world could hold. These elephant-sized sloths therefore also lived on the ground. Even if the Megatherium americanum was a herbivore and had a rather gentle nature, it should not be underestimated. Estimated. The Megatherium also used its huge claws on the forelegs for defense. Dimetrodon angelensis Many consider this Permian lizard to be a dinosaur, although dimetrodons are much more closely related to mammals. The largest representative of this genus was the Dimetrodon angelensis, with a length of almost 4 meters. The name Dimetrodon is a reference to the animal's unusual teeth, because, like mammals, the Dimetrodon had two types of teeth, including strong fangs similar to cats and dogs. With this in mind, the agile hunter secured his place at the top of the food chain in the early Permian era. The most prominent feature of the Dimetrodon, however, was its large dorsal sail, which was stretched between the trunk and cervical vertebrae. The sense and purpose of this sail are still controversial among paleontologists today. For a long time, it was believed that it served to regulate heat, a theory that was rejected because of its comparison with close relatives of the Dimetrodon. Smilodon populator we come to a predator that most of us should have heard of by now, the saber-toothed tiger, sometimes referred to as the Smilodon populator, though some experts also claim that these would have been two entirely different animals. The fangs of the Smilodon populator had a length of 28 centimeters, of which about 17 centimeters protruded from the upper jaw. Even if Smilodons were smaller than today's tigers, their compact, muscular build would make them even more dangerous. One amazing aspect of the fossils found is that many of them had healed injuries that should have made the animal incapable of hunting. That leaves only one conclusion. Like lions, Smilodons were organized in social groups and not loners like tigers. That's a terrifying fact to think about. Giant Squid one last time we go into the depths of the sea. This time we'll take you to the oceans of modern times rather than the oceans of many years ago. The term giant squid, or giant octopus, refers to two species of giant squid. The giant squid Mesonicotuthis hamiltoni and the giant squid Architeuthis dux. Both species live in today's deep sea and have ten tentacles, two of which are longer than the others. The somewhat Aki colossal squid reaches a total length of 13 
18 meters, yet the giant squid is 18 meters long. However, these measurements are only estimates that are based on carcasses that have washed ashore or been found in the deep ocean. In reality, we've never been able to measure a live giant squid. With this in mind, this begs the question, how big can these creatures truly grow? In reality, we have no idea. Some experts have claimed that even though the bodies we've found only measure around 18 meters, they could actually grow to be dozens and dozens of meters long, making them one of the largest animals ever known to swim in our modern oceans. So there you have it, several animals that would have been far more fearsome and dangerous than dinosaurs. It's terrifying to think about what the world would have looked like all those years ago after realizing what creepy creatures would have roamed the land at that time. While dinosaurs are terrifying in their own regard, there were many other animals that would have been far more terrifying in the grand scheme of things. With that, we thank you for watching. If you like this video and want to see others just like it, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell to stay up to date with all of our future videos.